12 months ago, I got a hair transplant. This was my second hair transplant as I was severely bald on top. My hairline was pretty much non-existent for many years already, but I managed to hide my bald head with a comb over. This was me on a normal day. And this was me with a little window outside. Absolutely horrible. I can't believe I thought it looked good. So naturally, I came to a point when I had enough of such miserable life. I was scrolling through a Facebook group focusing on men's hairstyles and I stumbled across a picture of a guy who was uh, three months after his hair transplant. I was thinking, wow, look at all of these new hairs growing on his hairline. Damn, this dude doesn't look like he's super rich or famous, so maybe it's actually affordable. So I started digging, as I usually do. Fast forward almost two years and I got my first hair transplant. Doctor focused on the front first, as it wouldn't be possible to safely do the whole head in one go. Better be safe than sorry. It wasn't painful. As a matter of fact, I actually quite enjoyed the experience. Experience. Sure. I looked cool. So this was me after a few weeks of the surgery. Red scalp, but loads of new hair. I felt like a million bucks until, yeah, I looked like a freak. <laughs> One guy at work even asked me why I painted my scalp in red color. I mean, I don't blame him. Just no, look at me. God. Anyways, with each month, it was growing better and better. Eventually, I grew my hair long enough to slick it back and cover the remaining bald area until my second surgery. To be honest, I kind of liked the look. Although huge pain in the bum to maintain it and I was stuck wearing a headband. During my second surgery we shaved it all. Again, it was sad to say goodbye to my new hair. No question about it, I am ready to get hurt again. But hey, it was much easier for my surgeon to see where he needs to focus more so I could get even better results after the second round. This time around, the doctor covered almost all the top, going all the way to the beginning of the crown. Once again, looking great after two weeks, but this time I had much less redness and I looked much better overall. Compare me three months after my first transplant and three months after the second hair transplant. Night and day, isn't it? Since I already had some hair from my first transplant, I didn't look quite as ugly as I was the first time around. And with a little bit of hair loss concealers, I managed to actually make it look pretty good. And since I was on oral monoxyl this time around, my transplanted hair started to coming out a bit earlier. Of course, I was already on finasteride for over two years to stop further progression of baldness. And at this moment, I would like to introduce you guys to Manual, since they were kind enough to sponsor this video. Manual is a British-based company focusing on modern men's needs, like skincare, supplements, like for general health and even for healthy sleep, like blood tests, erectile dysfunction, and of course, hair loss. It is truly a one-stop shop for loads of things we need to improve our quality of life. They are making it easy by offering a subscription-based service of medically approved hair loss products like finasteride and minoxyl. So once your products are finished, you will receive a new month supply on your doorstep without doing anything. This is great because some people, they simply forget to reorder things they need. For example, one of my friends keeps forgetting to reorder his finasteride. And every time he runs out, as he doesn't want to induce new shedding. This has already happened so many times, it's getting annoying. If you're watching, go through the link in the description down below and get it sorted. <laughs> Moreover, through the link, you will get 50% discount on your first order. It's a really good deal. So I suggest you take advantage of this offer as best as you can. So three months after my second hair transplant, it actually started to grow pretty quickly due to minoxyl. And it started to give me a really great illusion of density already. And just like before, as the months went by, more and more hair grew. At six months, I was so impressed with the results already I have that I was thinking it's probably a full result. However, it didn't stop there. And now that I'm 12 months after my second hair transplant, can't describe how great I feel. It's like I got a second chance with my hair. I can walk around without bothering, whether it's raining or windy, I just don't care. Surely it's great to have some cool hairstyles, but to be completely honest, the only thing I care is actually to have hair on top. You know, I feel normal again. When I'm with other people, I don't think about my hair loss. And actually I spot others to be focused on their hair loss, which reminds me of me in the past. Surely it's still a good idea for me to keep using enough finasteride and minoxyl so my baldness stays under control and I can enjoy full looking head of hair for decades to come as otherwise my crown will progress further and the sides can also drop lower. It's actually a real possibility. It's been established by many doctors I've seen in person. But I'm so glad I left hair loss behind me and now I always offer my help to others going through the same thing. Heck, I even created a whole dedicated YouTube channel for this topic where I've documented extensive my two transplants 
and also I've created a lot of educational content. So guys like you and I know how to stop hair loss without any bullshit scam products. I've been there, I've done that. And also can get avoid botched by a bad hair transplant clinic. So make sure to subscribe. Anyways, the best part that over the course of my transplants, I actually tried many different hairstyles. And I think my favorite one was similar to what I had about six months ago. Short to medium length on top and short but not skin faded sides. Why not skin faded, you might ask? Well, for starters, it doesn't suit my face shape. It makes my face look rounded. I need just a tiny bit of length from uh, the top part of my sides uh, to create this structured look. But of course, the other reason is simply because I've got thousands of scars all over that area. Like, Wait um, a minute. do you think it looks good? <laughs> Anyways, to me, it's an amazing trade-off. Having some permanent scars on the sides, but lots of new hair on top. I think I look so much better now what? compared to before. Okay. I mean, if you think otherwise, let me know in the comments down below. And talking about the scars, I was actually running an experiment for the last six months where I bust my hair down to zero to see all the scars. And then I've started microneedling them every two weeks to see whether they will regain some pigment. Hence, be less visible. I'll be doing skin fade once again in a few videos and I will compare whether my scars improved or not. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss this video. And if you're thinking of doing a hair transplant yourself, you must watch this video over here as it will give you an insight on what to look for when doing your research on a hair transplant clinic. So you can find the best clinic for you. Click here.